Hey guys, Kevin here for The Art of Horror. I hope you're all safe and well in these ultra strange times. And as much as I love horror films, uh, I really don't want to be in one right now. <laughs> and even though I'm a huge introvert, I still like to go out occasionally and uh, I play a bit of uh, skirmish. I do the Australian version of Airsoft, which is Gelsoft. And not being able to go out for my weekly game is actually driving me absolutely nuts. So I hope you're all sane and well and finding plenty to do at home. A YouTuber friend of mine, Luke Top Secret, did a wonderful video this week. It was titled The Top <laughs> 10 Things the Art of Horror Should Draw. And I was really flattered by this really nice video Luke made. And if you haven't checked out his channel yet, please do. He's a naturally funny guy. He likes playing lots of retro computer games. And he is very much into horror movies as well. Especially older horror movies, which impresses me greatly for a younger person. So amongst Luke's many suggestions for the top 10 things I should draw, the one thing that stood out to me was The Phantom. And while he's not a horror icon, as Luke states in his video, The Phantom relies on psychological fear to scare the absolute bejesus out of criminals, as the bad guys often think he is an actual ghost. As Luke did such a wonderful job with his video, and I know The Phantom is Luke's favourite, in these trying times I wanted to do something to cheer the guy up, so I decided to draw The Phantom. And The Phantom is actually a uh, favourite of mine and holds a very special place in my heart. My aunt Judy, who is passed away now sadly, got me into The Phantom comics as a child. And while she lived interstate, every time they came to visit in their caravan, I would have such a wonderful time with my aunt Jude. Comparing our Phantom collections and going over the storylines and just reading them together. So I dedicate this drawing to not just Luke, but to my late Aunt Jude. God bless her. She was a character and a half. She was a typical Aussie, all of five foot tall, and the sort of lady you would not want to mess with. <laughs> I did reference a picture for this video, but not pictures of the Phantom. I found a picture of a guy wielding two handguns. But the actual picture of the Phantom himself, I drew completely from memory. So if I get any of the details wrong, as usual, please don't sweat me on this, as I did not reference it at all. The Phantom was, of course, created by the great Lee Falk for the adventure comic strip The Phantom, which debuted in newspapers on February 17th, 1936. The Phantom was later depicted in many forms of media, including television shows, movies, and video games. In the jungles of the fictional African country of Bengala, there is a myth featuring the ghost who walks, a powerful and indestructible guardian of the innocent and fighter of all types of injustice. Because he seems to have existed for generations, many believe him to be immortal. In reality, the Phantom is a legacy hero, descended from 20 previous generations of crime fighters, who all adopt the same persona. When a new Phantom takes the task from his dying father, he swears the oath of the skull. I swear to devote my life to the destruction of piracy, greed, cruelty and injustice in all their forms and my sons and their sons shall follow me. The Phantom's origins started with a young sailor named Christopher Walker, sometimes called Christopher Standish in certain versions of the story. Christopher was born in 1516 in Portsmouth. His father, also named Christopher Walker, had been a seaman since he was a young boy and was the cabin boy on Christopher Columbus's ship, the Santa Maria, when he sailed to the Americas. Christopher Jr. became a shipboy on his father's ship in 1526. In 1536, when Christopher was 20 years old, he was part of what was supposed to be his father's last voyage. However, the ship was attacked by pirates and Christopher's father was murdered. He was the sole survivor and was washed ashore on Bangala Beach, where he was found by pygmies of the Bandar tribe, who nursed him back to health and took care of him. He vows revenge on the destruction of piracy, greed, cruelty and injustice in all their forms. 
The Bandars showed Christopher to a cave which resembled a human skull in appearance. And later, Christopher carved the features out to enhance this. The skull cave became his home. Wearing a costume based on the demon god, Christopher became the first of what would later be known as the Phantom. When he died, his son took over for him. When the second Phantom died, his son took over, and so on. And so, it would go on through the centuries, causing people to believe the Phantom was immortal. These people gave him the nicknames including The Ghost Who Walks and The Man Who Cannot Die. The Phantom, of course, is a non-lethal hero, much like Batman, and uses his skull ring to leave a mark on the jaw of criminals, delivered through his powerful punch. The Phantom, at one point, was created by two artists here in Australia, Dave DeVries and Glenn Lumsden. I was lucky enough as a young 13-year-old to hang out with these guys and actually witness them drawing the comic, which was a great learning experience at the time. These two artists also did versions of Spider-Man and also created a Round the Twist comic to coincide with the television series here in Australia. So I hope you like this image of the Phantom Luke. It took me around six hours to create and was created using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. I actually wanted to keep working the picture more and more. There's a lot more detail I think I could have gotten into it. But I really wanted to get this video out and I brought it up to a standard that I thought was good enough. So thank you Luke Top Secret once again. I'll leave a link for Luke's channel in the comments below. I would actually really like to thank the horror community at large at the moment. We all seem to be banding together and helping each other out through this particularly difficult time. Especially Evil Stevel, who I will leave a link for his channel in the comments below. If you want to send Evil Stevel some love. And a lot of guys and girls in the horror community are producing some great stuff during this lockdown period. So stay strong people, stay safe. I hope you, your friends, and all your family members are safe during this difficult time. I will be uploading some retro videos from my previous channel this week as well. And I have some Doom gameplay captured that I am ready to upload as well. So there's plenty more videos coming this week. I'll be working on some more artwork very soon as well. If you have any suggestions for anything you'd like to see me draw, please leave it in the comments below and I will consider your request. <laughs> Look after yourselves, people. This has been Kevin for The Art of Horror. Goodbye for now. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.